Welcome back everyone. You may have just purchased an Android phone and you may be wondering if it's stolen or maybe before you buy it you want to check out some things. The very first thing I would recommend doing is to first unlock the phone and see if there's a passcode associated with it. Now if there's a passcode like this and you already bought it then you're going to have to get the password somehow. If the you know, owner or the seller doesn't supply it to you then something fishy is going on and you probably want to get to the bottom of it you know and or return the device. Now if you know the passcode then obviously unlock the phone. Once unlocked, there's a couple other things you can do. The very first thing I'd recommend doing is hopping into your settings app. Now this is where you're going to get a ton of information from. If you look on the top right now, depending on the version of Android you're on, it could look a little different. If you see, you know, a profile icon like this and it's not yours, or maybe you click on it and it gives you some more information like an email or something. Well, if you don't recognize that email and if the seller doesn't unlock the account for you, then again, something weird is going on. You're going to have to return the device and that's another indication that a phone may be stolen. If there's an account already logged in and you've already purchased the device, then you're going to have to get the seller to unlock that account. On top of that, if you scroll down, there's usually like a profile little icon or a little Google icon right here. You can click on it. You'll get into the same page and essentially it's just, you know, the same exact thing. If there's an account here, either sign out of it or if it's not your account, then you're going to have to get some information about that. Now finally, the other thing you could do is click on your about phone option and once you click here, you'll see a little IMEI number. Now what this does is it'll basically be like the number associated with your, you know, specific manufacturer and or your, you know, cell provider. So for example, if it's like a Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, whatever, essentially if you stopped paying payments on it or if the phone, did, you know, was reported stolen or something and somebody tried to resell it, well, this IMEI number is going to be blocked and on the blacklist and you won't be able to make any calls or text people or anything if this IMEI number is blacklisted. So how do you determine if a phone number is blacklisted or not or with your IMEI number? Well, what you do is go ahead and copy this IMEI number like this. You make way over to Chrome. You essentially just type in something like IMEI number check or checker just like this. And you want to go ahead and use any type of online you know, platform. It can be that website, whichever website you want to do. And you want to verify that that specific IMEI number isn't blacklisted. Now, if you put it in and it is blacklisted, then you already know what you have to do. You're going to have to return that phone or whatever the case is to essentially get your money back. If again, if it is whitelisted, then you're pretty much set and you're probably good to go. So those are the main things I look out for whenever I buy a used Android or when I still buy. Sometimes I usually don't. Those are the things that I look out for the most. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.